Well, do you have what it takes to be America's next top model? The CW Lexington and Just Plain Fancy Boutique are holding a casting call this Saturday in Stanton. And we're joined by Laura Sue Kirkpatrick, a former contestant on the show. And it's good to see you. Thanks for being here it's with us to today. Good to be here. So, what does it take to be on this show to be a part of it all? Well, to be a model in general, it's a lot of hard work, and a lot of girls think all you have to do is just be pretty. And that's actually the last thing on the list. You have to have a ton of personality. You're going into a casting, not just America's Next Top Model casting, but in anything in the fashion industry, you have to go in there and make them remember you. Mm -hmm. Because pr pretty much like all the girls in there are beautiful. And you have to really shine. You really know? sell yourself. Yes. Then. <laughs> this is my personality. You will not forget me. I'm bold. I'm funny. I'm whatever your quirks are. That's the time to really bring them out. All right. Were they Interesting. were yeah. they charmed by you being from Kentucky? Oh yes. My <laughs> accent gets them every time. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about a little bit more about being on the show. You know, why would you advise somebody to take part in this? Well, coming from Little Stanford, Kentucky, just such a small town. It gave me so many opportunities that I could only dream about. I've been to Greece, I've been to Canada, I've been to Hawaii twice with the show. I've been to, uh, lived in Mexico, Ireland, all these really great experiences and that's just stuff a little girl dreams about and they came true for me and and then also I started my own charity for dyslexic kids that I could have done without the show but because I had the show on the platform and so many people knew me it was a huge in raising awareness for dyslexia and I, I really owe a lot of that to the show and of course like my modeling career I've been modeling now for seven years. Just say you're still active doing it. Yeah. Uh, even had a shoot today. Yes I actually had a shoot this morning and after this I actually have to go back. This is my lunch break. <laughs> this, on, well we're glad you shared yeah. that with us. Yeah. Um, tell us about this the casting call. What should people keep in mind as they head out for it? What, what do they need to do? Um, well, as the stuff they bring, it'll tell all online and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I definitely, I brought a swimwear. You never know, like, when the, they could just be like, okay, like, you made it to the next round. Like, we want to see, you know, your body and you and just, like, kind of natural stuff. But for the most part, they have to be themselves. They have to be natural. Like, these uh -huh. producers have been doing it for a long time. If you come and you tell these producers what you think they want to know, the, they've seen that. They've done mm -hmm. that. They want to know who you are. They want to know what the viewers are going to know you as. And, you know, because eventually when you're on a, a TV show, that's all going to come out. So you might as well just, and, and they love stuff that you think they wouldn't. They love the quirky things. They, they cast all over the country. So they, they want these special people, these people that think that maybe they're weird or, or you know, like, they're not the typical girl or, or guy because now they're doing guys and uh, they, they want that personality that is just like huge let and bold. your personality yeah. shine then and enjoy it yes well, it's always good does, to catch Lara, up with so, you yeah <laughs> always uh, thank you for being here again thank that you. casting call is coming up uh, Saturday 10 until 3 tomorrow at uh, just plain fancy boutique and that is in Stanton Kentucky appreciate you being here thank you